If you can't beat them, you know the rest. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about NASCAR driver Brandon Brown, who is the center of the Let's Go Brandon chant. You guys know the story. Basically, what happened a few weeks ago, he won a race, and there was a post-race interview with a young lady. I don't know her name, but you guys know, so let me know in the comments. But there was a post-race interview. Now, there were quite a few fans left in the stands, and they were chanting F Joe Biden over and over again, right? Now, I'm not sure if the reporter couldn't hear, she didn't hear, or was trying to cover it up. I don't really know. I give the benefit of the doubt. But anyway, she's interviewing him, and she's hearing and chanting. Maybe she didn't understand what was being said. But I clearly heard F. Joe Biden, as all of us did. But in her mind, she thought it was, let's go Brandon, because Brandon Brown just won the race. Obviously, it was not let's go Brandon, but let's go Brandon became a chant to say, instead of, F Joe Biden. And it also became kind of a chant in general against the media because they'll tell lies like that. I mean, if she was lying or not, it's not even important because it's not even really about her or Brandon Brown. Quite frankly, it's about Joe Biden, the mainstream media and the American people's frustration with what's happening in our country. Right. So that's why the whole let's go Brandon chant became to be the monster that it is right now. You got guys with merch and all types of stuff. Talking about let's go Brandon. Now, unfortunately, Brandon Brown is a real person. Now, I don't say that be like he shouldn't be a real person. I mean, come on. I figure he's a nice guy. I don't wish him to not be here. But anyway, unfortunately, he has a real life and he's a real person. So it affects him. So he's trying to get sponsors, right? Because if you're a NASCAR driver, you see all the stickers and stuff on their car, on their jacket and their hat. Those are sponsors. How they make money. And he was not able to get a lot of sponsors because of the whole let's go Brandon thing. And then won't be political. So he's like, all right, what am I to do? Now, a let's go Brandon coin, a cryptocurrency came out and said, you know what? We'll take it. We'll go ahead and sponsor you. So actually, let's go ahead and roll a video, a little promo video from the LGB coin um, sponsored car. And after we get done with that, I'll talk about the car I'll talk about crypto a little bit more. Then I'll give you the rest of my two cents and my deep detail analysis. And then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. All right, so you saw that, you heard that. Now, uh, shout out to him for just leaning into it. He might as well, because if you can't get sponsors, if people are trying to just, you know, say, nah, we don't want to deal with it, whatever. It's like, look, man, life is short. I may not be a NASCAR driver forever, so let's go ahead and get it. Let's, let's go ahead and get her done, the LGB coin. And that'll probably do pretty well, you know, with a lot of these coins. And I'm going to kind of rain on some parades right quick, but please forgive me. I mean... It's not my fault, blame the white man. But anyway, that's a joke if you didn't know. But cryptocurrency, in my opinion, is kind of like it's kind of like um, almost the equivalent of like baseball cars or beanie babies. And I'll explain. Um, if you have something like Bitcoin, that's probably going to be more stable, or Ethereum, something like that, maybe because people have confidence in it, and that's really the key to cryptocurrency is the confidence of the person or people that buy it because they're confident they can buy it at a certain price and sell it for a higher price. That's just generally what it is. You can use Bitcoin for like transactions to use as a currency, but that's not really, I mean, ultimately whoever gets that currency is going to want to exchange it for us dollars, or maybe they try to save it. I've heard about guys putting their retirement in Bitcoin I mean, that's that's really brave right there. I'm not quite sure that I got that kind of nerve, 
Yeah, okay, my, my back ain't that strong, but anyway, I digress. The whole point is, the whole thing behind cryptocurrency is confidence. Are you confident you'd be able to make more money from selling it than you did from buying it? There's conservative sponsors all over the place. Why not use uh, a crypto? You got people that have the 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 shelf stable food like the MREs you got like what I have with merch and stuff like that why not do that just create your own ecosystem of things you can sell things you can be sponsored by and have to be the way you go forward your typical sponsors they may not be in your corner but you may be able to have a, a land of your own and create things that way maybe even have your own marketing company and market to other guys that kind of want to be on the same wave. Okay, that that can kind of go beyond NASCAR drivers. I can go toward just content creators, people just in the street, these Instagram influencers or whatever, have them be sponsored by some of the same people. Have it be like a little network. I think that'll make sense because at a certain point, the, the advertisers can't control your life. They, they can't control everything. And that's part of the thing of YouTube. Uh, the, remember the adpocalypse back in the day where all the ads taken off because I think there were some ads on a PewDiePie video with a with a naughty word in it. And they were like, nah, we don't want to have our ads next to that. But that caused chaos in the whole platform because the ads are what fueled the whole thing. We got to be able to focus on other companies that aren't going to be so stringent and so strict with their ad placement and have that be what we do. Because if you if you don't diversify your ad portfolio, I guess you would say, then you're going to have a few small companies control everything. They control what you say, what you do, all of that. It won't really be NASCAR. It won't really be the media. It'll be the advertisers. They'll control things, right? That's why I still got, you know, I got my flags in the back. I sell those. I sell my own merch. I do my own thing because I don't want to be controlled by the ad companies being able to dictate what I can say, what I can't say. And if I can't put it on the YouTubes because it's too much or whatever, I got my social media. I got different avenues to be able to get the message out there because one way or another, I'm going to get the message out there, period. And I think Brandon Brown's on the same wave. You get the crypto. Then you're going to have other sponsors that follow. That should be the way it goes forward because relying upon these big companies, obviously it may not be a good thing. Uh, you know, having that dependence one, one day you'll be riding high on the hall. The next day you'll be totally broke. And we don't want to have that kind of control be exerted upon our lives. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about Brandon Brown going this direction, leaning in, as they say, as a, as a cool kid say, the youngins, leaning into the political stuff rather than trying to shy away from it? Because he can't shy away. He's Brandon Brown. He's let's go, Brandon. How do you really just escape that? The companies that normally would advertise with them are saying, look, we don't want to do with it. It's kind of toxic. All right, let me go this direction. Is it a good thing to do, bad thing to do? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys, I think, should know where I stand. I think when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Do something with it. Don't just be like, well, I'm defeated and it's all over. Figure out a way to go forward. Figure out a way. I mean, you have popularity. Why not ride the wave? you probably be able to do more going this alternative route with your advertisers rather than the traditional way. Okay. And you can be popular for longer after NASCAR. I'm not sure how long guys actually race in NASCAR. I mean, is it forever? Is it going to be like Dale senior and junior? Is it going to be something like that? Or is it going to be two years, three years, like an NFL football player? I'm not really sure how long, but as I close, I'm going to say this shout out to everybody that is supporting Brandon Brown. Let's go. Brandon shout out to everybody that wants to be a sponsor. I'm sure there's plenty of small businesses that are loved opportunity to be able to grow with Brandon Brown. Okay. Imagine that you get put on a Talladega speedway as a small company, you rise, he rises, like have a contract to where it's like percentage base. And he is able to grow your business at the same time that he grows. Makes sense to me. That's how I would do it if I was Brandon Brown, but whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Moment. Brandon, you also told me. I can hear the chants from the, the crowd.
Let's go, Brandon.